Platinum Tier 1 is the highest rank currently available on Master Duel's competitive ladder. And with the right deck and a bit of skill, achieving that rank is actually pretty easy. But what if you don't use the right deck? What if you want to play something off the beaten path? How far could you get? I'm Hardleg Joe, if you didn't know, and that's exactly what I aim to find out. Each month I take a new deck and see exactly how far I can push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month's deck is Red Dragon Archfiend. An archetype from the 5Ds era that uses these little resonator fellows to make dark dragon type synchros. And only dark dragon type synchros. No one can doubt the power of boss monsters like Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss or Red Supernova Dragon. But the archetype's inability to summon links or even other types of synchros means that their toolbox is severely limited. Will these be enough to carry us into Platinum 1? Or will the restrictions keep us from that ultimate goal? Alright, ladies and non-ladies, here we are, another month, another climb up the Master Duel ladder. As you can clearly see, we're back down at Gold 5, and this month, we're going up with the Red Dragons. I'm sure the intro already said that, but for the people here in the chat, because I do this, I do these on stream, this is, this is the first they're hearing about it. I've got two builds. I've been testing these on EDO Pro. EDO Pro, still useful. We've got a regular Red Dragon deck, and then we've got what I call Red Dragon, but funny. Uh, so basically, Red Dragon is a big synchro deck. You're mostly going into this big boss monster, Red Supernova Dragon. But part of your combo involves using Red Resonator. And this is a monster that has a couple effects, but when it's special summoned, you can target a monster on the field and gain life points equal to its attack. Which is usually going to be more than 2,000 in this deck. So I was playing this and I was like, oftentimes I have more than 8,000 life points, so maybe Ancient Leaf would be really good in this deck if I have over 9,000. And then I was thinking, how else can I gain life points? And I'm already playing a bunch of hand traps, so if I could put Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood in here, not only would this help make Ancient Leaf more consistent, but it would also probably um, help me against the, the flood of FTK decks going around. Now the only problem with this is that the funny version of the deck is actually more expensive than the cheaper version of the deck. The, the, the regular version of the deck, or the, yeah, the regular version I should say, the regular version gets rid of the Ancient Leaf and the Spooky Dogwood in, in favor of just playing some like regular tuners, in favor of playing um, Ascator Dawnwalker, which is a good, like, free level 8 synchro summon. So, we're gonna open up some packs. I have started a fund down below. We may end up starting with the regular version and going to the funny version later on. We may, if we get lucky, get just start with the funny version, as I'd like to do. It depends on how many donations we get, how lucky we get with the, those card packs. But we are gonna go ahead and get into the openings first. So, so yeah, opening cards. So now it begins. For We've got 6,000 points that I've managed to save up from the normal rare festival and just doing dailies, which means we're going to get 60 packs of this. This has most of the cards we need in it. Um, there's a couple hand traps and a couple other things, but if we open enough of these, hopefully we'll get some ultra rares we can break down because a lot of these are cards that we're only going to play one of. And even if we play multiples, or in this one, like, we, we're, we're never playing this. This is awful. So if we get multiples of, like, this, or, like, you know, Red Hot Archfiend Dragon Abyss, we can break those down, because we're never going to be able to summon those anyway. So, hopefully we'll get lucky with our packs. Thank you, Hungry Bear, for the sub. Get a little dab in there. And, uh, we'll, we'll just see how it works. You're the one guy trying to call me Gandalf. Okay, we got three... Three super rares and an ultra rare. Hey, Red Dragon Archfiend Scarrite. Hey, there's our first Red Rising Dragon. We need three of those. Fortunately, we've got enough super rare points. I think we can do it. Hey! Oh, uh, we got our ultra rare, but it's the worst one. It's the one we literally don't play because it requires you to play the old Red Dragon Archfiend that you don't play. Like, it specifically needs that one and two tuners. And all it does is, like, can't be destroyed by card effects. 
and it's it gains attack so yeah um i again it's one of those things like as a content creator i might keep this one because there's always a chance they release some support that like if you have this you win the game but most likely i'm going to be breaking that down we did get another red rising dragon though that's two of them so we're already looking pretty good and that's that's our first pack overall Again, we got, you know, we got the Red Hot Archfiend Abyss. We needed one of those. We got two of these, the Scar Rite, and nothing else, really. But yeah, we've still got like five more packs, so we'll see. All right, we got a Rainbow Pack. We're looking at an Ultra Rare. I don't think it's 100% guaranteed, but it's like, not, yeah, there, there it is. I think that there's only been like one time that it was purple and it didn't have a purple in it. Let's go! Hey, another, ooh, a shiny Red Hot Archfiend Dragon. See, that's pretty good because we only play one of these, so we can break down the shiny one and get more ultra rare points. Hey, there we go. King Calamity, another definite one of, as well as another Red Nova Dragon, which we can 100% break down without any, any remorse whatsoever. Oh, well, this has all the rares, but they're all, wait, I didn't click anything. Well, we got rares, but they're all in, like, the packs that we didn't need. But this will probably be good going forwards. It's always good to have a level 5 synchro, you know, just in case. I might end up playing one of these. This is like, it reads you win the game if you can activate it, but it's such a dead card a lot of times. Like, you have to control level later higher synchro, banish all monsters on the field except the monster with the highest level, also, the remaining cards are unaffected by other cards except their own until the end of this turn. If a Dark Dragon Synchro is Synchro Summoned while this card is in the graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Like, it's so it just banishes everything if you control the Red Dragon. The problem is, right, it doesn't help you build that Synchro. So if you open with more than one of these, or even just one of these, it can often be a dead card in your hand. Uh, we'll see, though. Maybe three in a silly version? Try a silly version. Silly's fun. Then we've got Red Gardna, Resonator, Crimson Resonator, and... Hey, that's our third Red Rising Dragon. Anything after that is just extra. Show me the Ultra Rare. Okay, it's in the latter half. Are we gonna get the Red Supernova Dragon? <gasps> no, it's another, it's another Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. <laughs> Lava Golem, Scrap Iron, Scarecrow, and... Red Hot Nova Dragon. Just another one I could break down. I think I've already got like four of those. <laughs> Drag down to the grave, that's pretty nice. All right, show me that Supernova Dragon. Let me see it. What is this, like the fourth abyss I got? What the fuck? <laughs> it's the only ultra rare they want to give me. <laughs> no, it's another, oh. Royal Rare Calamity. I'm definitely breaking that down. I do not need a Royal Rare Calamity. I mean, that thing is neat and all, but I already have one, and I would rather turn that into a copy of something useful. Another Red Nova Dragon. All the Red Novas. Look, unless, unless I get like $80 before I use the rest of my gems, I am breaking that Calamity. If you want me to keep the Royal Rare Calamity in my deck, you've got to give me enough cards that I can get another 30 points worth of Ultra Rare. Oh, here we go. Purples, purples, purples. Another one. Another one. Another Red Nova Dragon. We got him. What are we at now? Six. We've got six Archfiend Abyss and five Red Nova Dragon. All right, so after opening all those packs, even with all the ultra rares we got, we barely got enough to make the serious deck. There, there's no way I'm not getting enough ultra rare points to buy a playset of Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Not when I'm still missing like staples like Nibiru and Dark Ruler no more. I just, I just can't justify it. Not unless, not unless I start making a lot more money. You know what I mean? So, unfortunately, it looks like the funny version that has this, and I, I forgot to mention, well, Burning Soul lets you, like, synchro during your opponent's turn. It makes a funny little combo. So, we're not going with that. Instead, we're going for a more serious Red Dragon Archfiend build. 
Although I did decide, since we opened up three Red Rain, we would make this just a little sillier by playing three of this. This was originally a um, infinite impermanence. I'm not sure if I kept this in from the uh, the pack openings, but this basically like banishes everything on the field as long as you have one like big dragon synchro. So we put that in. We ended up taking out two of the other synchros because I didn't pull them. They were ultra rares. I didn't have enough points for them. And chat convinced me to add Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, because it's probably one of the better level 8s we can make, and we can make level 8s really easily with this Ascator Dawnwalker. So we've got a mostly serious version of the deck. You'll see it in action, but basically we're just trying to turbo out this guy who's really good, and he gains attack equal to the number of tuners in the graveyard. So, there's actually a lot of synergy in this deck, a lot of reasons why you should play Effect Veiler and Ash Blossom, because discarding them not only helps you against your opponent, it gives your monsters more attack. And the fact that this is a Synchro deck where being able to normal summon a level 1 tuner can actually help you ladder up into some other things is, is actually relevant as well. So, let's take this, let's go ahead and put the ladder climb up there. We've spent 6 gems so far. And let's go into our first duel. Hell yeah. Wait. No, we don't have a non-tuner. We've got everything except for a tuner. Um, let's see if we can bait out Ash Blossom. Um, okay. If this is normal summon while a synchro, you could special summon one resonator from your deck. Okay, I think I could do that. Okay, so Crimson Resonator, you can special summon from your hand if you control no monsters. Ascator, you could summon by discarding a monster. And usually it lets you summon that from the deck when you do, but we only have the one, and now there's none. And these are seven, which I don't have, so I should have gotten another tuner. But now I can make an eight. Or a six. It's fine, it all works out. Make Red Rising Dragon. Uh, when this is summoned, you can target a Resonator in your graveyard, special summon it. So we bring back the Chain Resonator. And then this says, if the only other monster you control- oh, exactly. Okay, so I should not have brought that back. I should have just kept it there. See, I spent all the time learning the main combo you do, and I don't know what to do if you mess up. That's, that's part of the learning curve we got here. So we'll do this. Let's, let's just look at the top five and, and hopefully add something. Red Rain, Red Resonator, that thing we wanted to start with, Effect Veiler, the King. Uh, yes, let's add the Effect Veiler, because that will give us some interaction. Also, it's a light, so now we'll have a light and a dark in the graveyard. So we can bring this back next turn. Then we'll go into Red Hot Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Once per turn, during either player's turn, this can just, like, target a monster. Or target any card and negate its effects. And that allows us to set Red Rain from the graveyard. Or add it back to our hand, rather. And only use this effect. Okay, so Red Rain is not once per turn, I'm finding. The main effect is not once per turn. What else can I activate? Oh, I could just summon this now. I don't think I want to yet. I think we're good. Okay. So, you know, we've got... We've got a, an Omni Negate. We've got a Monster Negate. And we've got a Field Banish. This isn't bad. It's not great. If they have a Kaiju, we're in some trouble. Well, we've got, we've got some pretty good thing. We managed to click enough buttons to work our way up. Good. End phase. Um, when this inflicts battle damage, target a tuner in your graveyard. Special <laughs> Third red rain. Just what I always wanted. Um, okay. So this, you can banish it and then add a fiend with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Oh no, this is the one we want. I'm starting to remember, chat. Okay, so we can special summon this. We can then synchro summon Bane. Bane is a level 10. So the 9 and 1 makes the level 10 Bane. And then because we use Synchron Resonator, we can add another Resonator from our graveyard to our hand. 
uh, let's go ahead and add the chain resonator. Because when that's summoned, we summon from the deck. So we normal summon this. That lets us get a dude. And that dude is going to be Red Resonator. Because when that's summoned, we could target a monster and gain uh, a life points equal to its attack. So we get 3,500. Then this can tribute off a monster in order to summon a Red Dragon from our graveyard. So we get to bring back our Omni Negate. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, and then we just summon the Chaos Ruler. And unless they have exactly Nibiru, I think we're good. Let's go. And of course, if we needed to, we've got, we've got things for another level 10 Synchro. I think we have one of those. But there you go. That's that's not the the main thing of this deck, you know. Summon one from the graveyard. Why not? It's not the main thing of this deck, but it's something you can do. This deck has more teeth besides just sitting on Red Dragon Archfiend or Red Supernova Dragon. It just helps if you know what you're doing. At the moment, I don't, but soon I'll learn. I'll have the ability. We get our first victory either way. Yeah, our opponent just passed turn, so probably not the uh, the most exciting duel. But it's good, they let us learn. There we go, one win, one loss. Fuck. Wait, no, this is, this is fine. This is fine as long as we don't get ashed. Alright, this is the, this is the combo we want to see. Now I can finally show you the combo. So... You special summon this if you control nothing. And then you just need any level 4 you can summon. You can special summon this if you control a fiend type tuner, so let's do that. Don't even need your normal summon. But if you did need it, you could just normal summon Skullmeister. And then we make Red Rising Dragon. So Red Rising Dragon comes out, he's like, hey, what's up? And when it's summoned, we could summon a Resonator from the Graveyard. The Crimson Resonator says if you control a Dark Dragon-type Synchro and nothing else, you can summon two Resonators from the deck. We need to get to 12. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Because our boss monster needs three tuners. And when this is summoned, we can target a monster and gain 2100, which is why I considered Ancient Leaf, because most versions of, or most times, you're going to start with 10,000 life points. Um, what is this effect again? Cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. So we're going to put it in attack mode. We don't fear the lightning storm in this household. So this thing, can't be destroyed, gains 500 for every attack, or 500 attack for every tuner in the graveyard, so if we use hand traps, it goes up. And once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, or when a monster declares an attack, you can banish this card and all cards your opponent controls. And then during the end phase, if it was banished by this effect, it just comes back. Or during my end phase. So we'll have nothing next turn. But the idea is we have, we have like, a one card, or a two card combo that makes this, a bunch of hand traps that are just going to boost this up and defend this. It is a defend the castle playstyle. And then if this doesn't work, then we have what we did last duel, where we we try our best to like link ladder with whatever whatever cruel hand fate has dealt us. Now of course if they have spell traps, we're kind of screwed. This thing is not that powerful. Now this thing, fortunately, except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it. In order to add a uh, tuner from your, or sorry, a fiend from the Banquet of Millions. Okay, I didn't have enough cards to start with. But you know, I guess that keeps us from synchro summoning stuff. Yeah, and so if this if this was gone, we could do the, the exact combo again next time. Because we'd, have, we'd control no monsters again. Fortunately, we have Crimson Resonator. We'll just get one of our Skullmeisters out here. And even though we can't do anything... I'm going to assume that this is like a Lilith. Because what else would you set in this deck? 
Mecha Bunny. And it's damage step, so I can't vanish everything. I love it. I love it, chat. Comment in the comments if you love it too. You know, red red supernova dragon archfiend. Stonewalled by a fucking bunny. And I can't synchro because they banished my extra deck, but it comes back at the end phase. So they're just playing some kind of burn deck. Lava Golem. I don't think I could make anything with Lava Golem. My level 9 specifically requires a Dark Dragon Synchro monster. And the rest are like level 8. I do not fear Magic Cylinder. Let's go. I attack! That is not Magic Cylinder, but it might as well be. But we get in for some damage. No Nightmare Phoenix. Yeah, I should probably have played Nightmare Phoenix instead of Cerberus. Considering I have very little spell trap destruction. Have your opponent's life points. This seems like a good thing to affect, Valor. Chain Energy! You fiendishly fiendish fiend! Uh, once per turn, you can target one card, negate its effects until the end of the turn. And if you have no cards in your hand, you can destroy it. Good thing I just happened to have this. I got it in, like, an old pack. I, w I would not have used the points for it, but now I'm glad I have it. Because it allows me to just target a card and negate its effects. Which means we can just run into this and not have to worry about anything. Get Krungist. Get Bungist. We did it. No burn's gonna burn us. I can't believe they made it to gold with burn. I guess they, they were running the, the millions thing too, right? And then just had some other stuff on top of the fact, just in case. All right. We got our, we got it, we got what we needed. Let's go. And here we go, go. Boop, boop, doop, doop, doop. You're going to be seeing this combo a lot, chat. We can activate the Dawnwalker. Discarding this from our hand. This searches a uh, fiend monster, which most of the resonators and its support is. So we can discard that, summon the Ascator, get this, and we'll go ahead into Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Ruler. Because this may just draw us into another hand trap. I don't think there are any other light or dark hand traps we could be playing, right? It's pretty much just... Skullmeister and um, Effect Veiler, which is why we play Skullmeister, by the way. That and this card, again, discard a Resonator, add a level 4 lower Fiend from your deck to your hand. So if you open with one of your Resonators and you need this, then you can get it. Or if you open with a bad Resonator and you want the good one, this is also a level 4 lower Fiend. But in a pinch, that can also be used to search Skullmeister because it's a level 4 lower Fiend, which is another big reason why we play Skullmeister. So we'll normal summon this. We'll activate the effect to get another one. Let's go ahead and get the Synchron Resonator, because we don't need any more life points. Then we can use the Chaotic Ruler, which I know we could get another card, but I don't want to send more stuff to the graveyard if we don't have to. Now we've got a negate for their back row trap. Then... Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, but I could bring this back. Maybe I should play two of these. Let's go! I did not look at which one was in my hand. This gets us something back. We're probably overextending into Mars territory at this point. Yeah. I had way over, but I wanted to make sure that I could absolutely OTK them through anything. No matter what they had. So yeah, we got follow-ups and stuff. We're doing pretty good. We're, we're getting our stuff. And look, we rank up into gold four. We're already doing so much better than the god deck. I have a feeling this will get to platinum pretty easily. And then we might have some trouble once we start going against the much more competitive decks. <laughs> Alright, we're doing well so far, but there are a few small changes I wanted to make. Uh, we've, we've only done like four duels, but we haven't run into the FTK yet. And even if we do, we have so many hand traps to stop it that I think we're fine running a full 15 card extra deck. We'll just, we'll see. We can always adjust if need be. Um, I've added the extra deck to have Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn. Because I think those are better if we go into how we can actually make something. 
I've added a second Red Dragon Archfiend, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, because um, it, I've, we've been in a situation where we could make two of them, and if you, why not? Pretty sure it's it's a yeah it's only a hard ones per turn, but we might need to remake one or something for some reason. This is one of those things we could take out if need be. And then I also took out the Force Resonator, the other level two. Um, we might need to add it back in if we find we can't activate Resonator Command on command. But we just took it out, replaced it with a DD Crow. It's another dark hand trap that we can that stops one of the FTKs, and also we can we can get it off of off of this thing. Which is which is really good. So let's let's keep going. See if we can get a little bit better. Let's go. All right, give me an effect, Valor. That's not one. That ain't it. That ain't doing it. That ain't one. I wanted an effect, Valor. I guess we're adding this one because it allows us to make the negate, right? Like, we special summon this, and then we make this. Which is maybe another reason why we should play this over the other other Resonators. Have I normal summoned yet, chat? No. I do not think I've normal summoned. Normal summon. And there you go. You just gotta, gotta make him surrender. No big deal, no big problem. Who even needs to make plays? Not me. I just FTK'd my opponent for all intents and purposes. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go ahead and tribute off that. Get one of these. But it came back. And I could special summon more stuff. Eight. Wait, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I need another. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Damn, I don't have enough. I need two level ones. This summons two, right? Yes. Okay. No, I need three tuners. Damn it. Yeah, I'll summon more tuners. Why wouldn't I? Yo, what up? I'm just summoning tuners all over the place. I'm literally stuck. I can't I can't summon any more tuners. I've got all the tuners, chat. If I can get one more level 1 on the field, then I could do some stuff. If I had put one of these in the extra monster zone, when this attacks, you could summon a tuner from your graveyard. Raigeki. Well, I mean, I've got to negate that, right? I mean, I don't have much option. So if they destroy either of these, but they keep the tuners on board, I can literally just, like, summon out the chaotic ruler guy and then use them with these three tuners. Cyber Dragon Shiga. Overload. Okay, they don't have a lot though. Yeah, ironically, you know, I wasn't even thinking about it, but the problem with Red Rain is that um, most of the time you aren't ending on just one big guy. Was there a reason to not summon Chaos Ruler last time and attack for game? Um, I didn't count. That's I, I forgot to count. My math was not math enough. It doesn't matter what they go for. You hit Bane, and Bane's just gonna bring this back out. You hit this, and it's just gonna do- Oh, it can attack three times. Well, fuck. I might be in some- I might be in a serious pickle. Alright, that's fine. Any level four, and we're good. Yep, so I should've just- I should've just attacked for game. I should've had enough, and I just- I done goofed. Come on, level four, monster. Show me that level four! We did it. We did it, chat. Who needs to exist? And also, I still have this, but that's fine. The question is, do I have enough tuners in the deck and the right kind? I don't think I do. 
Look at this. Red Supernova. He's a Supernova. Big. Go ahead, activate a monster effect. It'll be funny. It's exactly 9,000! It gains, it doesn't matter. It gains 2,100 attack. What are you gonna do? I've got 9,000. Get the hell out of here. Go ahead up to 4,000. You think I care? I am the biggest. I am a supernova. And you are but a tiny falling star compared to me. It makes him not receive damage. Attacking this monster. Oh. Well, I'll just do this. There you go. And just to be safe, I'll summon this. Oh, this is a light too. Uh, yeah. Fine. We're fine, chat. We came back anyway. We win. They didn't have anything and they died and the I got the win. We did it, chat. And we used all our powers combined. I don't even know what I did. I had the 15 card extra deck. Sometimes you just win for no reason. I think they bricked? No, or did we go first? Wow. What the? How did they get all these royal rares? What the fuck? Man, do, do, do the FTKs really give you that many gems? Because I thought, I thought the whole point of the FTK, right? What I had heard was that bots were doing it that basically people will create a, a bot that plays the FTK deck and even though it only loses however many times because it just plays so many duels constantly forever it will generate a whole bunch of gems and then once they've generated like 10,000 gems they'll sell that account to people who just want to start and be like hey you know you could pay $80 and get 5,000 gems or you could pay us $30, and we'll just give you an account with 10,000 gems on it. But the fact that they have all these rares implies that they've been opening a whole lot of packs on their own. So maybe there's something I don't understand about the bots, or maybe they're not actually bots. That is something else that I'd like to, uh, to kind of bring up, because everyone says it's bots, and I don't know how you'd know that. Especially because in a lot of the cases I've seen, they seem to be taking a while to, like, figure things out. I think it might just be actual people behind it just grinding the deck over and over again, playing like bots. At least in some cases. I don't actually know. But this, that and the fact that they have, um, all the, their banquet of millions are all shiny... It's like, I don't know, can you hack? Are you just generating that many gems that you can afford to do this? I don't know. Either way, it was an interesting thing. Check it out. So we can special summon the Crimson Resonator. We can normal summon Witch of the Black Forest. And then we use the two of them to make the Red Rising Dragon. And then which, when it goes to the graveyard, gets us a search. Now, because this is the errated version of which, we cannot summon the monster we use, we search, or use its effects this turn. But what we can do is, like, search an effect veiler. So then we have it for next turn. And then we'll just gain 2100 life points. Uh, ancient leaf dot JPEG. And then we died in a Biru. You know, these things happen from time to time. Sometimes these things happen. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. You think I'm done? I'm not done. I have only yet begun to fight. Um, yeah, let's do this one. We'll just search for more stuff. 
This is when the real resonating starts. Exactly. Since we've already got that and the resonator, we could do our whole combo again next turn if we have Witch of the Black Forest. I mean, we're still pretty in a bad position, but, you know, we're here. Let's just try this again and hope they don't Nibiru us again. So even if they to pop this, we could summon the Chaos Dragon and then just have the thing and then just, like, banish all monsters on the field? Let's get this, because this will be a lot better against them. <laughs> Hand traps out the wazoo! Supernova! 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 He's a big, big boy! How do you like him? How do you like him? Oh, oh, oh! Torrential Tribute. My buddy! My pal! I cannot be destroyed by my opponent's card effects! You haven't done much of anything, boy! Let me tell you what. Time for me to end you and all that you care about. 8,000 over 35? Well, you tried! You certainly tried, you know, but... Reading just wasn't your strong point. Didn't work out for you. Sometimes that happens. Let's go ahead to the next duel, shall we? Shall we? Let's shall. We finally went up against the FTK. It's been a while. I don't think this is the first time we've actually had to face it. They lost the Cup of Ace, though, so will they have enough things to get into it? I see. The battle of waiting must commence. Who amongst us will have what it takes? Now he's slow playing me. Brother, I'm the champion of waiting. No one is more patient than I. The wheel of time turns and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. Down long valleys the wind swept, valleys blue with morning mist hanging in the air. One eternity later. Most of the scattered- Hey, we did it! How many pages was that? Hey, we rank, we rank up to gold three because of that! The power of storytelling allowed us to transcend our gold two bonds and sneak up one more. Numeron, we actually have a really good matchup against Numeron. Especially if we get the full combo. For a number of reasons. First of all, we could search Effect Veiler. Droll and Lockbird. I shan't be doing anymore. But yeah, also because we start with 10,000 life points, which they can't have, they don't have the ability to OTK through. Alright, Eli. What do you got for me? If they have Kaijus, or if they have uh, Forbidden Droplet, they need something that gets rid of this without destroying it. Well, there they go. There they go! We've got Valor, and we've got 10,000 life points, so I don't think they can OTK us unless they have Limiter Removal. And next turn, we could just Red Sprinter, bring back something. Get another Red Rain back. Oh, they're going for Sonya. With nothing. They think I can't OTK them. They don't know I have Red Sprinter. He's sprinting. Look at him, chat. He's got big, gross human hands, even though he's a horse. Oh, I... Oh, it's up to. Oh, I fucked up. Um, I think we could still get it, though. Yeah, it's okay. The Synchron in our hand got us covered. We just gotta dig. And nothing! Absolutely! Oh, do it again? Oh, we got one of these. Oh, boy. Um, I haven't normal summoned yet, have I? I have. Wait, if we make Bane... We can bring back... Okay. Well, 
The level 10 guy. Yeah, and then we could just bring Ruler back. And then that's 35 plus 3,000. That's 6,000, baby. I'm too big for you! Let's go! Sonya was a mistake, son. Yeah. All right, so this deck's doing pretty good going first, but when it goes second, it's really having trouble playing through stuff. Even though we have some, some hand traps, the ash blossoms, the effect veilers, we're still having a lot of trouble breaking through stuff, especially when it's like Eldlich or in the case of what we just did, Guru Control. So I'm putting in the three Lightning Storm. These are, of course, bricks going first, but we can discard them off of Ascator, or we could just save them. I'm trying to think, there's not really a whole lot of other stuff that we could do that would be like good back row removal that we could also use going first. Maybe Twin Twisters, but then we have to discard something. Um, the Red Rains are still doing pretty good at the moment. The fact that you can discard them and then immediately get them back is actually kind of cool and why we might replace these with Twin Twisters in the future. Um, if it gets to the point where we're, we're not making any more progress, I'll probably switch these out for Infinite and Permanence or another Hand Trap or something. But at the moment, they're still doing good. They're still fun to play, so we're keeping them in there. Um, oh, and we, uh, we added this back to the extra deck because, again, having trouble running into back row heavy decks. I'm also not sure if they put... We put this in here. It's a level 11. We haven't summoned it yet, but when we do... It'll be funny. Special summon. Special summon. Special summon. Alright. No imperm, no imperm, no imperm! Or Valor. If you could have neither, that would be fun. Okay, good. Hello there. It's me. And we can use that to get this back for next turn. Except there is no next turn. I don't think in gold we've had a single duel where, like, we actually played out with our big monsters. It's like we summoned the big monsters and they're like, yeah, I've had enough of this. You can go ahead. I don't, I don't care. Yay, a hundred gems. A hundred more gems. Rick and Morty, a hundred gems. A hundred years go up into rank two. Pretty, pretty productive first day, I'd say. So now we can turn off whatever we think is going to be bad for us. I really just need to, if I could special summon another resonator, we're like set. Um, in case this is something that can't be destroyed or whatever, we're going to save the, uh, the red dragon for that. Please no Marshmallon. <laughs> of course it's Marshmallon! Why wouldn't it be? Alright. You're getting negated. Electromagnetic Turtle. <laughs> like, no, I'm fine! Take that. Oh, we're good. We've already got a Kaiju, so they can't Kaiju us again. We don't want to set this because it'll cost us 500. We can wait until next turn. Nibiru! That's what you get when you try to win a race! They sent their own stuff and their graveyard destroyed them. Yeah, so if you missed it, they had a they had a card that was um, whenever you send cards to the graveyard, the owner of those cards took 300. So they paid a thousand to um, to activate the Nibiru from their hand. And then they sent two of their own cards to the graveyard which inflicted 600, which was all the life points they had left. Which is why this deck very rarely works, right? 
Like, chain energy seems really good because it's like, oh, if my opponent just activates a, enough stuff, they're dead. But the thing is, it, you, it makes, like, a race, right? And if they get you below the race, then, then it's very hard to catch up. Because every time you want to play something to hurt them, you're also hurting yourself. Um, and this build in particular is not great. 45 card deck, first of all. Um, a bunch of random unsearchable one-ofs. Threatening Roar, which is not, not helping your win condition. Uh, Battle Fader, which is not helping your win condition, which you have to activate for, which is going to be sent and burning you with this. Yeah. Not the best build. We're one win away. Can we do it? Can we work our way into gold one? Not gonna lie, so far this has been exceptionally easy. Maybe it's just because I'm used to the Egyptian gods, but gold has been like a cakewalk. Granted, I don't remember exactly what we did yesterday, but I feel like we haven't run into a whole lot of problems. Wow, this is like the best hand this deck can make. Special summon? Special summon? Okay, pay close attention, chat, because this may be what we want to... If we're trying to optimize the deck later, we basically want to get it so that we have this hand as much as possible. Because this is pretty great. Being able to essentially get two negates plus a hand trap. Or I guess a negate... Yeah, a negate, a board wipe, and a hand trap. Because again, we've done all of this without the normal summon. <laughs> and then we can summon the... <laughs> summon this from the deck. Go ahead and activate that effect. Get uh, 7,000 life points. Let's just double our life points as you do. And then we'll make Red Hot a uh, Dragon Abyss. So there we go. We have an Omni Negate. We have a Monster Negate. We have a Field Wipe that can't be destroyed with 7,500 attack. And we've got backup plays for next turn. Sphere Mode. If they Sphere Mode, I will... I'll sneeze a train. I'm, I'm that confident that they don't, that they, they don't have Sphere Mode. That I won't, I simply will not be sphere moded. Oh no. Oh. They might actually be playing sphere mode. This. <laughs> Special summon one king's queen, then immediately normal summon. Uh, yeah, I think we want to negate that. Oh god, it's the ancient chant! I know this one! Are they gonna, they gonna tribute off my dudes? I don't want my dudes to be tributed. Please. Please do not. I can rest silently. No, they're activating it. The tension is high! Or not! I did it! I did it. Da -da -da -da. I was worried for nothing. We got it. Okay. I don't have to sneeze a train. And we got up to gold one. One more and we're into plat, baby. Plat in the first week? You know it. With red dragon arch fiends? Easy. Easy, not even hard. And what do we get? Queen's double. They knew. They knew that we were fighting against the queen on that. One more win and we're into we're into plat five. I have not lost a single game today. I don't know what's happening with gold. They're, they're not having a good time. Okay, we're not going first, which does not bode well for us. They've got a name that makes me think maybe they're a hacker. Are we about to get hacked? Only time will tell. We've got a hand trap so we can slow them down. And Gradles. Well, I wonder what this could be, chat. Alright, the question is, what can we do against a Gradle? I think the answer might be, uh, fucking nothing? I think we might be screwed. Unless we, we blow it all up. 
So if I can OTK him here, I win. I don't think I could do that. I could certainly get close. Unless that's another fucking Gozen match. Floodgates. Oh boy. What is it? My birthday? Get lightning stormed. I think this is still game, though. This is 65 plus 17. Yep. Still game. We got it, baby. OTK the Gradle Kaiju. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta OTK him. Just not worry about it. You know, just get all that stuff. And with that... We're out of the jank fest, hopefully. We have ranked up into Platinum 5, and it what has been the fastest climb so far in this admittedly short series, but uh dang. I did not know these were these were so good. I mean clearly they're not meta. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get all the way up to Plat 1, but compared to the Christrons and the, the Egyptian gods, this has been this has been really easy. I mean, we're on like a win streak. We just nothing but winning. Winning all day, every day. Uh, well, let's see how far we can get. We haven't even had to, like, adjust the deck hardly. <laughs> okay, so literally all we have is two field nukes, and if they have a kaiju, we're dead. But we still got two field nukes, and the one field nuke makes our dude invincible. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, hey, Adam Emancipator. Basically, just let them summon Block Dragon and then banish the whole field. We wait for this to come out. We let them resolve the effect, because they're to once per turn. Send these rocks back to the Stone Age. And then once they summon that, like, this is the best time to do it, right? Keep the water out of their deck. Prevent them from summoning any more. Monster Reborn! Reborn the monster! And then we just activate this on that because that's their last effect, right? They'll be able to get one thing, but it doesn't really matter. We just make sure all their playmakers are banished. Oh come on. Whiff! Whiff! Yes! <laughs> and they whiffed the troll anyway! I think. Yeah, none of those are level 4 rock monsters. They've got the foolish burial, but they don't have any rocks to banish for the uh for the the whatchamacallit, the block dragon. Oh no. Oh no! Augustus! Nice game of Whiffle Ball! All right, they've got a token. What can they do with the token? Link Spider. You have a normal monster in your hand? Oh! <laughs> oh! Parallel Exceed! Oh, no! We were so close. We got a little cocky. We didn't think they would have that third play. Gallant Granite. All right. Still if I were them, I'd probably be searching Nibiru, right? No, they're searching that. All right. They resolved Block Dragon. I lose. That face when you banish, like, most of their deck and they still manage to get game. Block Dragon Summon isn't once per turn? Nope. That's why Block Dragon is banned. Yep, this entire board came from Foolish plus Exceed. And then just attack. I don't know what they're waiting for. You, you already had game. But okay. Oh wait, no, I have 10,000 life points. 
Wait, I'm still alive! This was a triumph! <laughs> I'm making a note here! We're not dead. Alive, but not dead. Not quite. Um... Activate the effect. Discard this. Because it's a tuner. A tuner, you see. Maybe they didn't look at the life points. To be fair, most people don't have 10,000. All right, we have, we have baited out the Boral Load Savage Dragon. Which means during the end phase, this guy comes back. We have more attack than both of your Oh, no we don't. Oops. Oh wait, but if they attack, we can banish everything. Let's hope he, if he destroys the fire ant, then I, then I, then I win. For some reason, I thought if I discarded the effect veiler, I would have 6,500. Yes, destroy the fire ant. Please. Yes! The fool! The absolute fool! I set the tutor because if they destroy it, I can't be destroyed. All authority, all according to Kaikaru. Can't be destroyed by card effects. They have to, like, make a, a, a giant, like, Dragite or something to get over this. Dragite, yeah. Dragite can absolutely bounce if they can make Dragite. If they can make Dragite, I'm a deadman. I'm Tony Deadman, attorney at law. Nice to meet you. Okay, I need to get rid of the thing that can stop me from being me. Didn't even move to defense. Too cocky. All right, so now even if they get an Emancipator, we can stop them. I can hear his molding through the PC. Yes, let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Let's just don't, uh, if they have any kind of burn damage at all, like they could poke me with a pillow and kill me. I just really, I cannot be baited into using this until they have something that gets rid of me. Because this will get out of the field and then I'll have nothing. Oh, they were just getting enough to get the block dragon. Barone? Hey, there's Barone. I think I may be done for. Block dragon just too strong, but we almost got him. Ah, uh, maybe I should have just invested and tried to go for game. Oh? They're blinging, bringing Block Dragon back. You know I can't be destroyed, right? <laughs> we did it! We won our first plat through perseverance! You never give up! Never surrender! Always fight to the end! Because sometimes you win, and sometimes your opponent loses. And ladies and gentlemen, our opponent lost. Bad. <laughs> Alright, Dark McGeckins. So basically, I need Lightning Storm. If I get Lightning Storm, then we can beat whoever this is. Alright, um, we did not get the thing we need, so all we can do is try to do our stuff and just die. I'm not afraid to die! They're not doing anything yet. I'm locked into Dark Dragon Synchros though, right? Yep, and there it comes. There it goes! So what we can do, we've not used the Wandering King this turn, right? So we can activate this. We can pitch, I guess this one, because we already normal summoned. We add 
The Wandering King, if we control a Fiend Tuner, we can special summon this. They're like, wait, stop, you were supposed to stop. And then, this is not a hard once per turn. So we can get the summoning of the Red Rising Dragon again and bring back the Crimson Resonator and just try it again. So let's try a second time! Once more, but this time with feeling! The problem is they don't have any monster effects, so... Summoning those out is not really gonna help. Okay, and then we make this actually, yeah. I'm gonna make this one. Get our search. I really need to get a light monster into the graveyard so I can bring this back. So I need to not take the effect Veiler. Instead, I will take this. Get the effect Veiler in the graveyard. Uh, then we will special summon this. We're allowed to go into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. We'll banish that and the Witch of the Black Forest because it doesn't do anything in the graveyard. They're probably having the same reaction I had last time to the fucking Adam Answer play player. Where I was like, but I stopped your plays! Why are you still going? Like, sir, sir, this is not very fair, sir. I'm gonna put him in the extra monster zone. And from this position, we're pretty good, assuming they don't have Nibiru. But what are the chances that they'll have Nibiru, right? Surely they have not been holding on to Nibiru this whole time. Asserting dominance. Why haven't you stopped extending, you coward? Wait, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I had three level ones, but I don't. Oh wait, yes I do. Um, I do have three level ones. So what I can do is now make this using the hot red dragon archfiend abyss. Big boy. And then I can tribute this off to get the hot dragon rat abyss back. And this is to go one step beyond. The question is, do I negate the Eternal Soul and just prevent him from getting anything on the field? Or do I negate the Dark Magical Circle so that even if he gets something on the field, he can't use it to get over these? DM is physically unable to out this board. Too many big dragons! I think, I think they're angry. I think they're a little bit upset. They might be a tiny bit upset, chat. Ultimate pettiness. Yep, we did it. We played through everything. We got all the stuff. Once more, into the breach. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see from the counter in the corner, we're on day five. It's a, I played a couple, couple days off camera. Uh, been grinding just a little bit. We haven't really gotten that far, just doing my dailies. And uh, I've made a very, very slight change to the deck. I added this level 5 because I had one, and there were times when, like, I needed a level 5. But otherwise, the deck's still working surprisingly well in plat. Uh, usually around this time, I'm having to make significant changes. I'm having to rethink the structure. Um, but so far, every, like, the, the three red rain is still going well. Everything else in here is still working. Maybe we'll have to put some more hand traps in. Maybe we'll have to change up the extra deck. I don't know. But so far, it's working. We've got a very good win rate. Perhaps one of the best of this series so far. So, we're just gonna keep going. Uh, alright. 
This resonator call needs to resolve, otherwise I'm doomed. Alright. We are not doomed, chat. Mostly this deck is just about the fact that, like, I've made this big difficult to outboss monster unless you have Forbidden Lance. If you have Forbidden, or Forbidden Droplet. If you have that, then this is easy. Actually, any effect negation can just get rid of this. You got a, you got an impermanence. You got a forbidden chalice, even. This thing is targetable. Although then it becomes a, a 4,000 beater, so it's still still pretty beefy. And I've got hand traps to protect it. But if they, if they don't get rid of it, then it's like, I'm just going to get more stuff next turn. I'm just going to have more things. Now, the fortunate thing about um, Drytrons is that they kind of need their monsters to be on the field to do stuff. Because even, even if the Herald of uh, Orange Light, like, negates this, this can't be destroyed by card effects. So, he can negate it, but he can't destroy it. I'm not sure what they do to get rid of this. If they have some way to, like, I guess they could make the, um, the bird. If they have Liralusk, they could attack directly and then make Zeus, and then Zeus would get rid of it. Do they have... They have the orange light in hand, right? So if they negate this, they're down two cards. And if they don't negate this, they're losing everything. So I don't think they can build a herald on top of this. So let's see if we can bait out their shit. Okay, so they're just going to use the herald. But I can't be destroyed. I can only be negated. Which means I'll just remain on the field instead of banishing everything. So now I don't think they'll have the material. Oh wait, they just tributed Ben 10. So they'll get something and then they can make... I'm not sure where they go from here. So now they can, they can make Nightmare Phoenix and send it back. But that's like the end of their turn, right? Like, they can't make anything else from there. That uses all their cards. They don't have enough on field to summon their big 4,000 guy. I don't think they usually play... I mean, what you got right here is, like... I, you could make Beatrice. You could make... Utopia Beyond. It's a tuner and a non-tuner, so you could make... What's it called? Uh, Tzulkin. And then set a card, and then... Summon something. Yep, she's going to Nightmare Unicorn. So they can discard to get the Nightmare Unicorn, and then... The other card in their hand is just the, the Ritual spell, which they can't activate. So they got rid of our monster, but they put it back in the extra deck, and it took them their entire hands to do it. And I'm pretty sure we could just do the same exact thing next turn. And then he made the exact same board again. Yo, what up? Remember me? Except now he's at 7,000. Uh, let's get this... Oh, wait. Um, four, five, six... Uh, yeah, let's get this back. Or not! Or our opponent will surrender. That was, that was an interesting one. We, we managed to beat Drytron by going first, of course. But it's nice to know that they, they've actually got kind of a blind spot when it comes to monsters that can't be destroyed. Perhaps, perhaps there's some other thing that could take advantage of that. Either way, good way to start off. That was the first duel. It was like 20 minutes. Jeez. All right. No ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no ash, no! I don't want the ash! No. Man, I'm dead. They had the ash? What can I say? Um, what do I do from here? Normal summon this. Activate. Special summon Effect Veiler. Then we can special summon this because we control a resonator. We're going to use this to make Red Rising Dragon. 
And then Red Rising Dragon is going to summon back a Resonator from our graveyard. Then we're going to get our 2100 life points. Activate Ancient Leaf, if I had it! And then we're going to go into Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Ruler. Hello there, nice to meet you. Womp, yes indeed. Yeah, we're just gonna add another Effect Veiler to hand. Effect Veiler goes there, and then we make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. It's not great. It's not gonna win us any medals or anything. But we've got some stuff. We've got one negate on the field, another negate in hand, and next turn we can not only bring back our level 8, but we can make another level 8 by using this. Um, and if we get any other tuner, then we can go into our bigger plays. They're down a card because they used Ash. They're on a 60 card deck, so perhaps we have a chance. Would you consider Sekka's Light since your deck is mostly... Well, now I've got to negate that. No grass for you. The grass looks awful. We did it, chat! Our two disruptions were all we needed to survive the turn. Lightning Storm, what are you doing here? Um, I think we want to be fairly conservative with what we've got. Yeah. Because we can make an 8, and then we can go into 9, 10, so we'd have, like, way, way more. Okay, we did it! Even going second, we can win from time to time. And we rank up into Platinum 3. That's how you do it. Although we're getting, we're getting surprised. I mean, we did face off against the one, um, the, the, the one Drytron deck, but surprisingly few, like, meta decks here for some reason. Uh, I'm not complaining though. We're just we're moving up quickly. That that win loss ratio is like surprisingly well. Holy fuck! All right, so I mentioned earlier that I played a few games off of camera, and I forgot that I actually saved a couple replays. So let's take a look at those and see if the me playing at three o'clock in the morning that was like, hey, this is cool, was was actually correct in that. So our opponent's gonna start with tuning. They're going to get a dang old Synchron. They've got Junk Converter. They are prepared for the Synchro event. Discarding stuff. Summon the Junk Synchron. Special Summon back the Junk Converter. Send both away. Junk Speeder. Summon all of the tuners. Every tuner. And then they're going to try to get one out of the graveyard. And I'm going to be like, nah. You get one less tuner than you thought. Skullmeister, he's the Meister of Skulls. He's keeping you down in there. But you still get four. You still get four from the deck. Look at all this. Jet Synchron, Floor Synchron, Stardust Synchron, another Junk Synchron, plus Stardust Illumination. They're going to make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Baron de Floor going into Stardust. There's Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. So they've got, let's let's pause this for a moment. They've got Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Once per turn, negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls. Gains extra battle. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can banish this, and if you do, negate the activation. So it's two negates. This can stop anything that destroys. This, when a face-up card on the field is activated, and negate a monster. They have four negates. It's so powerful. And one of them is specifically, like, the, like there's nothing I can do, right? So I'm going to Resonator call. They're going to let it go, because they're like, what's Resonator going to do? I'm going to start summoning things. They're going to negate it. They're like, nah, I'm not dealing with that. Get out of here. Okay. Going to summon this. That allows me to special summon the Wandering King. Put him away. Black Rose Dragon. Black Rose Dragon effect... Activate Arriven Light. If a Synchro Monster is Special Summoned, you can apply one of these effects. Draw one card or Special Summon one from your turn. Now here's the thing. Chain Link 1 Black Rose. Chain Link 2 Arriven Light. This can negate. This can negate. This can negate. But it has to activate 
in response to the monster effect. And because they did not do that, because they wanted to draw a card, they are going to get their card and then blow up everything. <laughs> This is why chain links are important, chat. This is why you've got to learn. <laughs> okay, so we've had a bit of a run going back and forth. We win some, we lose some, and we're having a lot of problems with Max C specifically, and a little bit of Ash. So we're going to go ahead and put the Called by the Grave in here, and the Droll and Lockbird. Uh, this happens to help with both hand traps, and this helps against Ash specifically. We might also replace these with uh, Infinite and Permanent somewhere along the line if they're they're not working. We got rid of the, the one Resonator call. I forget what it's called. The one Resonator card, I should say. It searches the, the non-tuners by discarding a tuner, which has almost never been live. And we were playing Skullmeister mostly because you could search it with that card if need be. And uh, Skullmeister's just not good in this format. I hardly ever activate it. So we got rid of those, and we also got rid of the, the Chain Resonator. It's really good, it's a light resonator, but um, at this point, we're, we just want to resolve our main combo. So all the follow-up, all the extra extension, kind of has to be gotten away with to make room for stuff that helps us do that combo. So we finally got to a fourth build of this, the Serious Super 1. It'll hopefully push us into Plat 2 and then Plat 1. We will see. Oh, yeah, go ahead, get your raw. We're playing against gods, people. Go first, gods, for some reason. They chose to go first. They're playing Numera, and they chose to go first. Did they not learn anything from my episode? Several painful minutes and one Raigeki later. I thought there was a level 12 that was one tuner. We lose to Raw and we've been demoted. Okay, I guess we need to go back and change the deck. All right, so after a string of frankly embarrassing losses, uh, I've decided to change the deck up once again. It is really weird how we were able to like sprint our way up into plat three and just completely hit a wall where I've, I, we, we've deranked. I'm not sure if that got showed in, but we, we've gone down. So I've decided to finally take out, we're still gonna play one red rain basically because we have 39 card deck. We still have one in there. Um, I put in a monster reborn because this deck is all about having these huge big monsters. And like, if this gets kaijued or this gets kaijued, but we still have the life points left, we can maybe just bring this back with monster reborn. So we'll try that. Who knows, I may even try some other uh, revival cards. Uh, we've taken off the Droll and Lockbirds because as nice as those are, we're not getting them when we need them against the uh, the Maxis. Plus we already have the three Ash Blossom, the three Called by the Grave. Instead we're trying Pot of Prosperity. Um, this will hopefully let us reach into our deck and grab out either the tuner or the non-tuner that we need in order to, to do our plays. And if we already have those, then it'll help us get something to insulate it. We had enough stuff in the deck that we weren't summoning, and after looking over all the Dark Dragon Synchros, which is what most of our playmakers lock us into, it's like, there's nothing else good to play. Might as well just put in like, a third red Rising Dragon and some of these lesser known, like, Exploder Dragon Wings, and then we can banish six of them or three of them with Pot of Prosperity, and maybe draw deeper into the deck. At least that's the hope. Um, we've also got it now, so we're playing more even ratios of, like, we've got three Red Resonator, three Crimson Resonator, and three of the Searcher. So nine copies of the level two tuner we need, and then three Witch, three Red Sprinter, I bought a third one, and three Wandering King Wild Wind. These are the level fours, because in order to get our plays, we need a level four non-tuner and a level two tuner. So we got nine copies of each. We're still playing the Ascator. This is such great extension, but I think if anything gets cut, it's this because Fire Ant is a uh, is a Garnet, and this isn't particularly. It's good when you get it, but it almost feels like win more or like a backup plan. And I'd rather kind of like put the focus on making sure our actual plan goes through. And then we're still playing two level one Resonators, the Synchron, which we could search with Wicked the Black Forest and summon, and this one, which is a light 
which we need in order to get back our chaotic ruler, the chaotic magical ruler of ruling chaos. And then we've got our go second card, and I think that covers just about anything. So let's see how this version does, see if we can get back on the wind train a little bit as we go back into, I think we're on like dual 53 or something. I don't know. All right, we get to go first. We haven't been going first very often. <coughs> Let's see if our new ratios pay off. Will we open with the combo that we've been trying to open? Yes, very yes. Super yes, we've even got, we're even ash proof. Activate this, they ash it, we could just, we could just activate another one. This may not look very strong because we're ending on a single monster and it's not the main monster we want to, but we've got like three hand traps plus the ability to go off again next turn. Because we're going to add this back. So even if they clear off our field and play through all these hand traps, we can summon this back and make like another one. Plus we can go into the Crimson Resonator and do all that. So I think we're pretty good. Don't make me feel foolish for not ashing this foolish. Um, well I guess I gotta negate that just to keep my life point total up. I don't want this thing to get run over and OTK'd. Especially if this happens to be a uh, Numeron deck. I don't think it is. Okay, it's Tri-Brigades. This seems like a good thing to Ash. Just prevent them from searching any more things or getting more and more cards in the graveyard. Okay. Send another kit. And then they're going to try to banish everything to summon something out of the extra deck. They know we have the one effect Veiler, so it wouldn't surprise me if they're just going for two, yeah. So we have to effect Veiler this. And then they don't know we have a second effect Veiler. And unlike most hand traps, this is not once per turn. Oh wait, they don't even have the bat. If they have the bat, they need to discard for it, so they're in a pretty bad predicament. Yep, we did it, chat! One negate and some hand traps was all it took. We just had to believe. All right, that's the start of a new, this is the start of a new thing. You just gotta believe in each other. Heart of the cards, let's go. Wait, did they say I go first? Oh boy. Let's activate this. We've already got our main combo, so let's just go for three. We can banish one of these and the Exploder Dragon, and that. The Ash, the Red Sprinter, and the Lightning Storm. Let's add the Ash. If they have an Imperm here, but they don't know we have the Wild Wind, that would be nice. Because they negate this, and then we just get a free Special Summon anyway. I just added the ash. You saw this. Why would you max C now? <laughs> I was so excited for a second because I was like, oh, we got the red rain in the graveyard. Okay, so we could activate this, summon another level eight, and then get the red rain set. Unfortunately, we sent our one of fire ant, and this can only summon from the deck. Hand or deck. So we can't do anything. This is like a dead card in hand. Yeah, so... Basically, we've got to hope on the fact that they lost one card and we've got Effect Veiler. Wow. Why would you waste Lightning Storm on that? Is it another Trap Tricks deck? Are they like, and we can't get around something that's 3,000? Gusto. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that. It's weird, 
that they would lightning storm because usually gusto wants to usually gusto wants to attack into your stuff over and over again and deal battle damage if you don't know gusto is a deck that has a synchro monster whose effect is if if, if a gusto would if a battle with a gusto would inflict damage to to them it inflicts it to the opponent instead and then all the gustos like float on battle destruction so what you do is you get out that synchro monster and then you ram one of their monsters into the opponent the opponent takes the damage you summon another gusto ram it the opponent takes the damage and you just keep cycling through your your floaters that that's the plan so the fact that they would destroy the one monster i had out that would allow them to crash over and over especially one that doesn't have any effect negation, doesn't really do anything on the field, is kind of baffling to me, unless there's something new they can do that I wasn't aware of. Um, yeah, we're going to attack over this. I haven't played the Stardust deck, so I'm not sure if I like that one more. This does damage. Summon two more tuners. Set Red Rain. I don't know why I summoned all these tuners. Didn't actually do anything. Might as well search now. Okay, I need to negate this one to stop them from getting the indestructible crystal wing. So we're gonna do that. I'm newish. I found your politics channel first. Interesting. I think you're the first person ever who's found the politics channel before the Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Too many things lock it into dark drag. Basically, that's... Huh. The motorcycle has a summoning animation. Six. I feel like that's bad. Then destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number shuffled. Oh, no! Augustus! What have you done? I can't believe they landed on a six. Welp. I didn't expect that to happen today, chat. Are you ready for this, chat? Oh. Well, that works. <laughs> that works, too. This can't, um... The thing I'm worried about is that they have Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. That can negate a level eight or higher monster's effect. Or level 5 or higher. So if I summon my do, I try to summon the Chaotic Ruler out of the graveyard, which is what I was hoping to do. I'm just kind of screwed. When a level 5 or higher monster activates its effect, quick effect, negate the activation if you do destroy it. Yeah. Yeah, the thing was, I was hoping to summon Red Supernova Dragon this turn, right? But if I summon it, they can make it 0, and if I try to activate in response, they can negate... They can't destroy, though, but now Max C. The problem is I'm worried about being OTK'd on the crackback. What can they do with three cards? And I've only got 50 hundred, and I can only get rid of one of these. And I guess I want to get rid of this. The problem with making Nova is it gives them more cards. So I need to decide if I want to do this. So yeah, we attack over this one. Yeah, you know, I'm only giving them two cards, and it's making an unstoppable boss monster, so let's try it. And then they get one more draw, but we get this. And this gets us back the red rain, too. They're thinking. They're cooking something up. I must say... I did not think Gustos could do this much. They can make a level eight. We're gonna do a fourth wall break here. I'm editing the video right now, and I just want to let people know from all the waiting due to this Gusto player, this duel took 30 minutes. Oh, they did something. Winterbell, and they've got a level one tuner. So they can make Crystal Wing. Okay, they finally did it, which means we can activate this. Vanish.
finish everything unaffected. That's all I was waiting for. They got nothing. We did it. It was a long, hard-fought battle, but we beat the Gus Gusto menace. Oh, when did Gustos get so scary? You had to declare each step. <laughs> it is not lost on me that this mind master just played lightning storm on something that cannot be destroyed. Truly a mind master, chat. Nothing gets past his iron thoughts, let me tell you what. Oh, and of course you're playing Invoked. This man is playing Invoked and he calls himself the Mind Master. Yeah, I'll just banish everything. Bye. Enjoy your invocation. Um, okay, I don't have to think anymore. Well, good, we did it. We've defeated the Mind Master, everyone! There we go. Oh, hey, and I get something back. Let's go for this one. We did it, chat! This is more what I like! This is looking up! Our deck's working good. The draw power has made all the difference. Look at it. Going back up. Okay, we're into tier three again. We've recovered. We're, we're back to where we started at the beginning of this. Which is, you know, not great, but we're still going. We got, we got one more week to go. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Best top deck. Let's go! Get them all out of here! Get all the spell traps out of here! Trap tricks in my plat, it's more likely than you think. Waiting for response? Is that how you do it? Is that how you win the game, ladies and gentlemen? I think that might be how you win the game. Can't be sure for sure, can't be certain, but I think that might be all it takes to completely demoralize my opponent. Maybe next time play a solemn judgment or two. This is fine as long as I don't get ashed. Set a card, your move. I mean, I'll chain to that. I'm out e I mean, I don't get anything with it, but you've cleared my field, so these two lightning storms are looking pretty good. Pot of Duality! Not gonna summon back their, their dudes. What are you doing? You can't special summon. You activated Pot of Duality this turn. Um, we know they're playing Solemn Judgment, so if they have the Solemn Judgment, I'm just fucking screwed. I'm doom screwed. And actually, they added the Solemn Judgment, so... <laughs> well, you know, I guess we could try again next turn! The point is, we got them down 4,000 life points. Wait, Haman, isn't this who we fought last time? Okay, so it negated the activation. Does that mean I can activate again? Show me the second one. Show me the second solemn. Yeah, that's right, get out of here! Lightning Storm wins games, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, after a couple of devastating losses when we were this close to Plat 2, I've decided to make a couple more small changes. I, I've taken out the, the Monster Reborn and I've put in another copy of Red Rain because I'm realizing that in a world full of uh, monster negation, having this can actually be pretty good. Two of it, considering that we can go into this and maybe get it into the graveyard, should be fine. 
Uh, I kind of want to play three, but I'm not sure if there's nothing else here that I want to take out, really. Uh, we've also replaced some of the extra deck stuff for another Hulk and a Nightmare Unicorn. I'm realizing there are times when having some links, something that isn't a level monster, can be very useful, and it's not like we were summoning that stuff anyway. So, yeah, there's Mark VI. Let's try this. Come on, Synchron. Let's go, Synchron. I want a Synchron. Give me a Synchron. Synchron, Synchron. Let's go, three. Everybody, Synchron, Synchro me. Synchron, Synchron, one, two, five. Let's go. Uh, what do I want? Um, let's get this, because we can search the, the other one. Oh, wait, I used my normal summon at some point. Okay, never mind. I didn't need the effect Baylor after all. We Ash the Alistair, right? I mean, if they're a good player, they'll already have the invocation. But if they were a good pl They already have both the invocations! They can't even search it! Oh wait, no, they, they know that if they do, they'll get banished by Red Supernova. Yeah, but I mean, here's the thing, what are they, are they gonna make Mechabuff, and then they can get over the Dragon Ruler if they use Alistair. Ooh, taking the light out of my graveyard. That actually sucks. Because then I can't bring this back. They can make Quarix and then negate me with this. And then I'm dead. Open with the invocation, man. If they had had to search it, I could have stopped them. But they opened with it. Wait, this doesn't lock you into fusions? I thought something they did lock them into fusions. OTK time? No TK time. They would have had an OTK if they just attacked with everything. But they wanted to show off, I guess. Alright, well, we're not completely doomed. Get 9,000 back, shall we? <laughs> this would destroy all attack position monsters. So we could do this. Destroy everything. This card's attack must be greater than or equal to. I'm sorry? Each player sets one spell trap from their graveyard to their field. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Let's go! 35 is bigger! Activate! I don't know what's going on, but I don't question things! Uh, no, I don't want to continue the attack. That's fine, I just needed to get over the one. No, they can use it! I don't know why they didn't use it! I mean, they can't use it because I'm going to negate them. But theoretically, they could use it. I have no idea what happened there, chat. Come back of the century, though, I tell you what. Same before, I feel like, like, you know, LP gain on itself, not very good. But if you have cards that are doing stuff, and you could also, like, grab more things while you were at it, it's like, cool. Are they just trying to run out the clock without it looking like they're running out of the clock? They're like, what? No, I'm doing stuff, stuff. I just had to think. I had to think about that ash before I crashed it. I had to really think about which of the one monsters in your graveyard I had to summon. So I need to bring back that red dragon archfiend that they keep trying to summon. 
Just to make sure it's enough game. They're like, you can't have it. I want it. I'm like, I've told you, old man. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? And it's mandatory. I can't not search even if I wanted to. Uh, no, I don't want to. Yeah, you know what you're gonna make me wait? I need to gain life points. All the life points. Back up to 8,000. It's like the duel never happened. 10,000 life point victory! Alright, so after getting close to breaking through the Platinum 3 wall again, and being stomped down once more, mostly by kaijus, we've decided to try something a little different. This, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel like the kind of deck that should win in Platinum. But um, I, I think this might be a good way to game the system based on what we're doing. So we're basically playing three back to the front. I bought two of the uh, the structure deck, the Cypher one, because it had this in it, along with some Honest. We got those. We're back to playing three of these, three Red Rain. And basically the idea is we're going to turbo out this, and then if they Kaiju it, we could just bring it back. Hopefully, we can just bring it back. That's that's the whole idea. And we're using this instead of Call of the Haunted or Oasis of Dragon Souls. Because a lot of times what happens is they kaiju us. And then they hit like Lightning Storm to destroy all the back row. And this is the only one that just like summons it back. And then nothing bad happens. We've also got rid of the Fire Ant Ascator engine. That was really good for extending through Disruption. I really liked it. But we kept bricking on the Ant and top decking it later on didn't help us all that much. So I think this should give us a better option. If anything, we might re remove the red rain again, uh, add in some more monsters or something, some more hand traps, but let's try it. Oh, oh, and also I bought an excess code talker. I've been meaning to get one of these. We ran into a situation, Red Rising Dragon has a second effect um, where it can summon two level one resonators from the graveyard. And that's not once per turn. So if we get into a grind game, that can actually like link us up into Excess Code Talker rather easily. Um, and we just didn't have, we, we could make Unicorn and couldn't go farther. So we got this. It's unlikely that we'll make it, but we weren't making any of our level sevens or anything anyway. So there's Mark Seven. Let's see if this can break through the wall. Why are you playing this go second? With the Cheese King. What up? Well, you've got the call, yeah. Unfortunately, that means that this is negated for my turn, too. So I can't exactly... <laughs> I can't go off like I'd like to. It could go into Brio, it would be very funny, it would just reset their, their Red Rising Dragon. It's fine! You do 2100 damage to me, I'm gonna get that damage back! It's like the duel never happened! Okay, so we attack over this. Damage step, summon a dude. I think we've got this. Really do be that mirror match though, am I right? We did it. We beat the mirror match. We have the superior red dragon deck. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. One more win into platinum two. Can we do it to end out the night? 
Oh, going second. I don't want to go second. But honestly, at this point, I'd rather see going second than have someone make me go first. Because then I know I don't have the tools to play around all their go second stuff. Just please don't be... Okay, we've got an Ash. We've got full combo plus pot. Yeah, this is difficult because we pretty much need our lightning storm in order to play over all their, their background, back row materials, right? Magician and Magician Girls, the Dark Magicians. They just get an Eternal Soul, fuck. I may have lost this one. At least we stopped them from Pot of Greeting, but... One Banish is all it's gonna take. Net well, yeah, maybe. Long, long, oh, lightning storm! My sweet summer child! I welcome you back with open arms! Thank you, lightning storm! When I needed you most, when my heart rang out for justice, finally, I have summoned it. Finally, I have gotten what I got, and I don't need no more. And this is an instance, because their deck is so much spell traps, we really want to make Abyss over Red Supernova Dragon. Okay, it's still pretty tense. They could top deck anything, but I feel like we're in a pretty good spot at this point. If no more cards left in the field, we've got a negate. They can summon a Dark Magekin. Uh, yeah. Not allowing that, sorry. No banishment for you. I just need to get another level 8. Do I have another level... It doesn't matter! We did it! Once more, we beat Dark Magicians in order to get that big rank up. Plat 2, baby! Plat 2! Hoo! So we're at least better than, than, than Christrons, which is good, because Christrons, not, not the greatest. Four more wins to Plat 1. I think I'm done for tonight. But we'll give it one more session, one more time, this Thursday, to see if we can get into Plat 1 before the end of the season. So stay tuned for that. If you're on YouTube, it's happening right now. Here we are, the sixth stream, the third week of trying to do this, and we're stuck at Plat 2. We have four more hours to get into Plat 1. Will we be able to do it, or will we stall out just before the goal? Only time will tell. I'm excited either way. Excuse me? <laughs> Golden Castle of Stromberg? Malefic Paradox Gear? Um, this seems like a thing to, like... Effect Veiler, right? Just keep them from getting any kind of big thing out. Just have them stick there. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, right? Like, they tribute it, I guess because it activated on the field. Even though it's in the graveyard. I don't have a lot of stuff to deal with. Um... Oh boy. Well... There's a Cyber End Dragon, I tell you what. I'm usually bigger than most things, but I'm not bigger than this. I'm in danger. I think I just need to stall, right? They can only attack with one monster. They've got Golden Castle of Strongburg. If we can get Crimson Resonator, we can make the big boy, and then we can bring back the other thing. We just need a turn. It's weird seeing these troll decks get so far up into plat. And I'm worried about what this face down is because it could literally be... Oh, there's... There's Crimson Resonator. Just right there. Uh, let's see if they have an Ash, right? Okay, let's do the one that plays around in Perm. Malefic Claw Stream. 
Select one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Son of a bitch! It could be anything, and it was certainly something. Well, I have another one next turn. Yeah, I think I need to summon in defense, just to make sure I don't die. Chat. They're going to normal summon Grand Maju, aren't they? No? Malefic Stardust, question mark? But why? I guess they just wanted less stuff. They knew they could only get rid of one thing, and they have limited turns. I have one. Okay, we're going to set this. We might be able to go into excess code anyway. Hopefully they banished all the Grand Machus. That would be nice. They're down. They cannot activate this again. They're going to summon a level 11. Or is this just going up into... Is this just going up into Excess Code Talker? Nightmare Phoenix. I am not sure what you're up to. Are you going to pop? No, they don't seem to be popping their own Castle of Strongburg. I feel like they're, they're just making progressively smaller monsters for me to fight, you know? They had a 4,000, now they have a 25, now they have a 19. They're like, please, just attack. Don't read Castle of Strongbird. What the fuck? Oh, they've got the big dragon. Oh, that's not the big dragon. Oh, no. Yeah, a non-tuner would be great right about now. You're a bit late, buddy. Um, I think I can do this, though. Um, yeah. So, we can activate this. The reason I set the level 1 tuner is because this can be banished to summon two level 1 tuners from the graveyard. Bada bingo. Bada bango. Then I can normal summon this tuner. Activate the effect. Special summon this tuner. Go into Nightmare Unicorn. Oh, whoops. Hauk of Fibrax. Or, I'm sorry, not Hauk. Activate the Unicorn. We'll pitch the Ash Blossom. Shuffle that back, and we'll use this to get back our Crimson Resonator so we have it for next turn if we happen to draw a non-tuner. So that gets rid of that since it can't be destroyed by effects. And then we use these two and we can make our brand new Access Code Talker. Where we're going, we don't need no Hulk. Use the effect, target that, activate, we're going to banish this to get rid of the field spell, so we can attack in and get some damage on the board. And if they top deck Gren Maju, we're still fucking dead, we're like extremely dead, and if they have another arch nemesis, oh they can't summon it because they don't have enough monsters. Okay. So, we have a chance. Basically, just as, as long as they don't top deck Grand Maju or, uh, what's it called? Necroface. I think we're good. Eater of Millions would be absolutely devastating. But we don't need it because they surrender! Take that, fairy tale! I need to see this deck. Let's check out the deck list. Let's see what the fuck they were, they were possibly doing. What do you got here, buddy? Your name was Crimson. 47 cards. Gotta have that 47 card. They're not even playing Grand Maju. I was scared for they're playing Malefic Parallel Gear, regular Parallel Gear, Nemesis, 
One Ash, Malefic Blue... Malefic Blue Eyes, you need to send a Blue Eyes from your hand. They don't have one. Um, you can activate uh, neither player. Okay. How did you get into Plat? Solitary Sword of Poison? <laughs> its attack is doubled. I guess, yeah, if you got 4,000. They're playing Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. They're playing three Time Lords. Just three. They're playing Malefic Truth Dragon. They only had one Castle of Stromborg and they opened it. Gotta have the Royal Twin Twisters and... Uh, and two Mirror Force. Two Mirror Force, two Skill Drain. Two Malefic Claw Stream. Two Baron to Floor, just in case, you know. They can get up to ten somehow. How, how are you in, I guess, Plat 5? They barely made it, but they made it, I tell you what. So we're just gonna go in for a lot of damage. What you got, Battle Fader? Swift Scarecrow! This man is playing Swift Scarecrow. Uh, yeah, we'll just affect, we'll just Ash Blossom that. I don't know what field spell you have, but I don't want you to have it. What are these decks we're facing? Okay. Alright, you got another Battle Fader? They have another Battle Fader, chat. <laughs> they have a literal Battle Fader! Uh, I could do this and banish every other woodwork. Okay. Alright, you got another Battle Fader? Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> what is this deck? What are you? Ally to good? Nightmare to you? Oh, come on! How many Battle Faders do you have, young man? Every single Battle Fader! Son of a whore! What are you? There's, there's three of them. They got all three of them. It is Numeron Wall. But he controls a monster. So he can't activate it. That's why you don't play Battle Fader in the Numeron deck, son. The thing I'm worried about is that he could have summoned the, the four... The four Numeron pieces. And then, um, and then made the underworld goddess and made my life very <laughs> difficult. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't play stall cards. Because they don't further your win condition. You don't win, you just lose more slowly. Alright, so I don't think hardly any of this is going to make it into the final video. Mm -hmm. I have been on a hell of a losing streak. I have been losing to all sorts of things. OTK decks, go first decks. I've, I've had like all the disruption and perfect hands and still lost. Uh, I think we've just reached the capabilities of, of Red Dragon Archfiend, unfortunately. But we're trying one last desperate thing. People have been telling me to play this Psy Reflector engine. This can make level sixes and eights. We're putting Beals back in there so we can hopefully maybe make that install or do something with it. And we've put in the emergency teleports to help make this. So now we have a bit more recovery. We have like a one card starter, although it does add a, two Garnets into our deck, which didn't work very well with the Fire Ant Ascator last time, but at least it doesn't have a discard. So we'll try this, see if it works. Here's hoping. All right, we just gotta play through one trap. We got it. Little redundant, but that's fine. Let's see if they have an Ash. So at this point, we're going for... What do I want to add to hand? Uh, this one. Add the Assault Beast. Uh, discard the Assault Beast. Get hit by... Called by the Grave. No, okay. Activate this effect. We show the Assault Mode Activate. Howdy. We grab the Assault Beast back. We add three, right? Because it's already level four. So that'll make it seven, and then we can make a level eight with it. Which is what we want to do. Chaos Ruler, the chaotic magical ruler of rulers. No one tells him how long an inch is. He determines it. 
I'll add the Wandering King. Special summon. Oh, if that last card in their hand is Nibiru. Oh! Oh, I was doing so well! Oh! I had so many plays! <laughs> At least it's gonna be a big token, you know? Oh, this, I was like, oh, I'm feeling hopeful. I can extend so much. Maybe I can OTK. And then the last card in hand was Nibiru. Also, Ray doesn't trigger. That's cool. Hey, life points. And they've got a monster in the extra monster zone, so even if they get one of their spells, they can't, like, activate it, right? Next turn, I can get a level two. I can do some stuff. Oh, wait, they can just do that. And then activate this. And I'm looking at my hand and it's like, all right, well, if any of these two cards were were um, something like, uh, what was it? Cross out designator. Then maybe I would be able to do some stuff, but I can't remove either of these. These are like both core pieces. I just happened to draw more of these than I needed. It's not like I had redundant cards. They just had better stuff. So what we know, one of them is the Engage, one of them is the Maneuvers, and then we've got one Mystery card. Um, okay, so we start with... We start with this to see if we can out the Ash. Let's go for the Chain Resonator. Well, I have a light and a dark in the graveyard. I do! Psy Reflector is a dark. Do I have a light? Yeah, I have that effect failure I used earlier on. Okay. So I can use this. Banish that. And... The Witch. We'll summon this. Yeah, this is actually the better way to go. Okay. So we normal summon this. We activate. We summon the Psy Reflector. I don't think we want to bring it back, though. I think what we want to do is just go into Red Hot Dragon Bane. Well, you know, it never hurts to bring it back. So we can activate this. Show this. Bring back this. This is a dark tuner, right? Yeah, so if we make it level 3, just in case they do something with this, we're good. But what we want to do, actually, is tribute off this and summon back the Abyss from our graveyard. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. Now we've got a bit of negation. And let's go ahead and activate this just so it stops bothering me. Yep, we've been in this situation before, though, and sometimes bad things happen. And then Ray comes back. And then if they make Kaino, we can just negate Kaino in the damage step. Are you trying to negate me? I'm gonna negate you! Get out of here with that shit! I'm not locked into Synchros! How did that happen? I was sure I had been locked into Synchros at some point during that combo. We'll activate this. I'm going to discard that to shuffle back that. Because that was the one mis mystery card. And then we can make access code. Yeah, I couldn't have gone for game because those tuners weren't there until I attacked with everything. Okay, so that's gone. That's gone. Do we banish itself to get rid of the 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 um the multi roll? Cause we've already got a whole bunch of big beaters and that's all it's going to be. 
They don't have anything else in the graveyard. I think we're fine. And just hope, like, okay, you've got one card. Can you OTK me from this position? Are you kidding me? Pot of Avarice! You have five monsters in this deck? Oh, I guess they're shuffling back all the stuff. They're not making it easy. Just Pot of Greed. Now they've got two more cards and I've got no negations. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a widow after this. And if that last card is like a ray, then they can link it off and do a whole bunch of shenanigans. The funny thing is if he, he atta okay. Wait, you can oh it's effects are negated. I was like the fuck? Special so oh it's any two tuners, so they could have gotten two tuners out. Is the other one the did they draw both the widow anchors? No, they're gonna get one back. Okay, they're activating the token. That seems like a weird choice. I guess I should have popped the the, the multi roll. Uh, do I activate it here? They sent everything back. They don't have anything to grab back with Kagari. Mecha Maj uh, in Eagle Booster. Yeah, I don't even know what I could draw at this point that would help me. 20 minutes of Sky Strikers getting all their resources back thanks to multi-roll later. Yeah, they've got they've got every flavor. I can't do anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, I fired so hard. I drew a card, but in the end it didn't even matter. The sky striker got a million cards. In the end, it doesn't even matter. What turn are we on? 16? Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. I feel like I am dead. If I get two more losses, we end it. Don't stop me cause I'm having a good time. I don't wanna stop at all. Okay, well there's one win. Now, now we just gotta get like 13 more without losing two, and uh, and we'll be good. It's the super kaiju. There's a super poly, two dark monsters. Hey, Luke Va- No! No, I didn't want it to be true! Wah! And Joe never recovered. I have no hand traps. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to yell into your hat, chat. This would be a nice monster to special summon. If I could special summon. Go ahead, show me the moon mirror shield. I know you have it. Gotta have it somewhere in there. <laughs> Excuse me? Is that... What? Why did you summon the pyramid turtle? You can't. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna crash their own. <laughs> what is going on? They're gonna crash their own so they can break out. Oh, uh, endless decay. Endless decay, chat. <laughs> All right, well, I can I can play now. Hopefully, I mean, who knows what that set card is? 
could be literally anything. Endless Decay Turbo. They got rid of their own floodgate so they could so they could make Endless Decay. If you solemn judgment me here, I am going to I'm going to throw a fit. I'm going to act like a little baby. I, I might cry. I might do other things that babies do. I can't I can't say it out loud. Cause because I'll get demonetized. But I, I'm okay, it's not solemn. Or if it is solemn, they'll they're saving it for some reason. What is this? Totan Totana Cyber! I think we lose from here. Because we've got all tuners in our hand. And I'm locked into Dark Dragons. And it's not just for the rest of the turn. I'm just summoning this to not die. I, sh I shouldn't have summoned it in attack. Who plays Tote? Oh, I should have gotten the Veiler to negate the Endless Decay. Someone's right. I'm not even thinking. Reactor Slime? How am I? How am I losing? How am I? How am I losing to this? Like, oh, free Egyptian God Slime! How can I resist? And they set another card. Yeah, I'll just walk into another Titano Cider. Why not? Who needs... Oh, good. Just in time! And then basically what I've got to do, right? Because I can only target this with effects. And I can only target this with attacks. So I have to negate this. I have to attack it now. And then I've got to hope that I can negate this. And then even if I get hit by the Titano Cider... I'm not dead. And I've got to hope whatever that space down card, it isn't like Mirror Force or something. Because if it is, I'm screwed. And then I contribute this to bring back the Abyss. Also in defense mode. Because I don't know what the fuck they've got going. But just in case, I want to be prepared. And we're not going to summon a third monster. Because I would not put it past this person to play Sphere Mode. I'm molding at card games. Molding and molding and having a time. Get all that shit out of here. Get it out. I don't want it anymore. Okay, they're using the Titano Cider on the Hauk, which is what I wanted. There you go, no. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared, though. Anything they have could just, like, annihilate my soul, and I have so few- I have so few resources left to my- my resources. Okay. I was like, they're playing Time Lords, too. It's the one that gets rid of all the spell traps. That's- that's a good one. Titano Cider does not banish itself when it leaves the field. That's just how it goes. All right. We've just got to hope this isn't like torrential, right? As long as this isn't torrential, we're fine. Okay, we got it. Activate. Banish the Hulk. Watch, this is fucking like the, 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 the boo-boo game. If this set card is destroyed, you can target two normal traps, set them. They can be activated this turn. They set Threatening Roar, chat. They set Threatening Roar. It's okay, I want it anyway. I forgot access code, they can't chain. Yeah, it's fine. I've won. Unless this is Battle Fader. <laughs> Please don't have Battle Fader. Goddess of Sweet Revenge! You motherfucker! No! Ash Blossom! Get that shit out of here! No! You can Ash Goddess of Sweet Revenge! <laughs> Holy Mother of Christ! What is this man? <laughs> this is... This
This is absurd. I, I've, 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 I, guys, you just witnessed me beating a fucking anime protagonist, all right? There is no reason I should have won this. That was fucking absurd. What the hell was this man playing? How did they get it? Oh, I know how they got into plat. Holy fucking... <laughs> one time maiden, one maxi, three giant rat, two pyramid turtle, two fossil tina, two reactor slot, endless decay, Mahama the fairy dragon, one goddess of sweet revenge that they top decked, fucking defense draw, fucking memory of an adversary, lost time, your opponent's life points are 4,000 or higher. Your life points become a thousand less than this. They only had one Titano Cider, one Boo Boo game, Crystal Avatar. They're playing Vorp Gate. They are playing Vorp Gate. What the hell deck is this? It occurs to me that many of you may not be aware how close that last match was. How many of you actually know what Goddess of Sweet Revenge does? Are you familiar with this card? Cause this is the most anime shit ever if you can get it off. While you control no cards, and this is the only card in your hand, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, discard this card. Destroy all cards your opponent controls, summon any monster from the deck. Does it negate the activation? Negate the activation. I can only activate once per turn, but the activation was negated. Uh, again? I'd like to try again, please. Danglong. Nine pillars. Alright. Please. <laughs> Oh, if only they didn't have a gate, right? Third lightning storm. Another one. I finally willed it to the top, and I don't have any. It'd be nice if this was like a psi reflector, right? If only we ran anima. Yep, that would be neat. Unfortunately, that is all she wrote, chat. The two losses, we're, we're just going down and down from here. The the Psy Reflector package worked alright, but it's not helping us get back out of Plat 3 and into Plat 2. The other deck was debatably better. I don't know, it couldn't stay in Plat 2 for very long. So I think I'm gonna have to call it there. And with that, ladies and non-ladies, we bring this episode to a close. Could I get Red Dragon Archfiend into Plat 1? Not quite. I certainly think it's possible. Maybe if I had started using Psy Reflector earlier, I could have learned to use that engine better, come up with some more combos. But I think even then, it wouldn't have been easy. In the end, while this is a really strong deck that can easily speed its way through gold... Its ceiling is just a bit too low to see consistent success. And with how restrictive its main playmakers are, there's not really much you can do to raise the ceiling. Like, Crimson Resonator is the most powerful card in this deck, but it also locks you exclusively into Dark Dragon-type synchros. So if you wanted to improve this deck, you'd either need to find a way to make things like Red Supernova Dragon without using Crimson Resonator, which is very difficult, or Konami would have to print some more Dark Dragon Synchros that are worth playing. Either way, I think this deck is going to need some new support before it starts really contesting the meta. Regardless, now that it's the end of the month and the end of this episode, let's take a moment to look over our stats for April 2022. I ended up playing 97 duels with Red Dragon Archfiend over the course of 9 dueling sessions. We won 58 of those duels and lost 39, which gives RDA a win rate of about 65%. Our deck went through 
nine iterations during that time to end up on the following build, which contains 16 common cards, 19 super rare cards, and 21 ultra rare cards. To get those, I only needed to spend about 6,000 gems, which would cost you roughly $100 if you bought them all in the store. Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 402 excellent patrons who helped support this channel. 32 of those patrons donated $25 or more this month, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are... Davon Crushin, Fred Thomas, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, What a Great Name, Lol, Cat Monarch, Leaf Blady, Zero1503, Austin Glover, Chris W, Death's Dancer, Ya Boy Slurp, Montry, Tarquin Cox, Aiden McDonald, Alucard22, Chris Kessler, Cozy Boat275, Default Titan97, Dancing Joker, Diotic, Matt, Muffin Fiend, Nathan, Nerozard22, Nightfang, Penumbra Eterna, Quintingent, Robert Pock, Tayono Kitsune, Trevor F., Viscount Billy Esquire, and Wonderwaffle. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just one dollar gets you onto my patrons-only Discord, where I post about upcoming events and just hang out in general. And for ten dollars, you can become the influencer of influencers, who decide what deck I play next. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, it looks like I'll be trying to get into Plat 1 with Ojamas. God have mercy on my soul.